this Kruangbin album, Kruangbin, Kruangbin album is lovely. This is like a Texas trio. It's not like a Texas trio. It is, in fact, a Texas trio. And they mix elements of world music, um, you know, Spanish infused music, also some like Middle Eastern type music, all together in this wonderful blend of blissful music. It is so lovely. My god, I am intoxicated by this album pretty much from start to finish. It does fall in the background occasionally. But the guitar tones on this album, ah, oh, they are to die for, shit. I haven't heard music like this for a long time. I, I, I've i mentioned quite a few times in my videos a band called Kiki Gaku Moyo, who I don't think are together anymore. But they put out a great album in 2014 called Forest of the Lost Children. And it, it was the kind of album that I couldn't really explain because it just has these like psychedelic guitar tones across the whole thing that are just like mesmerizing. And this album here, um, from Krangbin, is like the first time I've heard that type of guitar playing since then. It's not so much a psychedelic album as it actually is more of a blissful journey that you just feel your head just kind of like oozing amongst you just kind of like being taken away you're just drifting away into this other world because all these different sounds come together in an indescribable way really i mean it's so creative how they do this because it's not like you can just compare this album to any other like instrumental type album because they're just doing their own thing they're in their own lane it's so refreshing to find music that genuinely sounds completely unique in 2018 because so much music now is influenced by other music which is fine you still get amazing albums that come out every year even though they might sound like other albums but just when you find albums like this it's such a uh, it's such a like a game changer i guess it's such a moment in your mind that you're just like wow i'm so happy i stumbled across across this because you ain't gonna find much like it I do love the vocals that crop up every now and then as well. She sounds gorgeous, shit. Uh, I would have honestly liked to hear her on more songs because she just comes through sometimes with these little vocal melodies, these little like playful ideas, like on the last track, which is like, la 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 Like, it's so subtle, but it is incredibly effective, like the way that it just works in the mix of the music. It's like its own instrument in a way. Como Te Quiero is like a beautiful track. It's so just lovely. I, I keep saying lovely, but honestly, that's the best word to describe this album. It's just flawless in its production, in the instrumentation that's used. There are so many tracks that just feel like Latin inspired, but it's not like you're listening to like Despacito, where it's like obviously overblown in a pop way. It's just like subtle, like embellishments on the album through like the instruments that just give you this different feel to it. And I love like the mix as well of like other world um, music that they've got here. Con Todo El Mundo is an album I'm highly recommending for this year. Honestly, gonna be an overlooked album. I can already foresee that this will be on my overlooked albums list that I, yeah, I did one for 2017 too and I feel like this is already gonna be on the 2018 one because it, it, it's gonna be ignored because it's not really like your average album but if you just want something just to keep you relaxed from start to finish you gotta go with this album. I remember I said for that last Fortet album, which a lot of people don't really enjoy, but I liked it for what it was, that um, if you want like music for studying, like if you're a studying person, um, maybe you're at college, uni, whatever, like that's the kind of album that you want in the background, so soft and so blissful. This also, I think, is that kind of album too, so keep that in mind for when you do studying and all that shit. So yeah, definitely a great album. Hopefully it sticks with me by the end of the year. Because the thing with these albums is that I don't want to ever like jump the gun and be like, it's amazing, it's one of my favourites of the year. Because it's just because it's like such like a specific type of album that you want for a certain kind of mood. That you think to yourself, how often will I actually play this? And that's one thing about this album I'm just not sure about. So hopefully it sticks with me by the end of the year. But as for now, I'm highly recommending this because I've not seen many people talk about it. Kruangbin con todo el mundo.
great album and subscribe to the channel for more reviews if you've seen this seen this video seen this video if you've seen this video if you're watching this video comment about this album if you've heard it listen to it yeah yeah yeah